wanted to ask about the colours of creation and within gases and things and all the chakra colours seem to extend to the rainbow and octave hues and um, could they be the colours of creation? Lovely question. The... Sorry? Lovely question. Sorry, carry on. No? no? Would they be extended to the atmospheres above and possibly below the, the levels? Um, yes. In... <laughs> Short answer, yes. Uh, longer answer. Uh, the layers are constructed. Uh, the Mayans had a lovely uh, depiction of it uh, of the layers. They had it different colours. The layers of the sky, and that would, to me, relate to the gases of those layers, because they, you know th this is what creates our our layer system. RDD comes into this. It's the hail, the pressure of the halos that creates those layers and each layer is going to have gases of different colors and some of them are you know some of them don't have a color so are the colors of creation yes and there's more than you see with the rainbow they're just the ones visible in our spectrum what the mainstream are calling black holes are what's outside of our spectrum is what they're really looking at you've got we've got a narrow spectrum of vision and we only see so many colors in it but there is more beyond on each side of that spectrum that we can't see but have to exist. This is what they call in black holes and this is the kind of thing they're really researching. You know, what else is this technology creating other than what we can see from these seven colours? Okay. So it, with, with how are we all connected, um, I suppose even the, the colours, are we, I mean... Our aura is isn't you know people claim that that's a, a rainbow effect sort of thing, partly. Yeah. yeah. So, Possibly. how 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 are we all connected? How is everything connected? On the aura, we probably have to have one because we do have electromagnetics within us, and we're operating in an electromagnetic magnetic environment. Our own little tourist field. Yeah, we must have some something. Like the angels have, you know, they've got this field around them, their Taurus field. It's it's like it's like a plasma ball. You can't see it, but it does exist there. And the effects of the rainbow—that's what creates the rainbow. It's this mm -hmm. plasma ball, it's Taurus field effect. It's revolving as well. You know, it's just not stationary. It revolves. In movement, yeah. So Almost like going inside out. Yeah, it's, it's constantly rotating. So it's always mixing the positive and negatives of doing it. Um, what was the question? Sorry, <laughs> we keep how, doing how, that. How we all connected? Is it a vibration? Every thing, every it? living thing in this world is connected to this construct in some way, shape, or form. Um, I, you know, I mentioned earlier about our blood going through our veins. This technology around us is it's programming the atmosphere we breathe, and we're all connected within that. To this, you know, the source is this construct. We all connect to the source in in some way, and it governs our lives. You might not see it or notice it, but it does govern. You know, without it, we probably wouldn't be able to survive. No. I can't see the human race surviving. Well, most races surviving without this technology's processes running. A life force. I mean, it's referred to in ancient texts, and you know. Um, Reiki and things like that. It's it's universal force, life force. So that's the the current of electromagnetism. I mean that. To, yeah, it has to be, it's it's force. electromagnetism that's governing us, isn't it? It's all around yeah. us, and that's the colours of electromagnetism is your rainbow. Yes, <laughs> we see it, we we see it with the the rainbow. Yeah. That shows me that's electromagnetism taking place. That's what we're really looking at there. We're all just hippy dippy babies. Um, where does the design of the Celtic cross come from? Ooh, <laughs> the Celtic cross, or all crosses for that matter, represents electromagnetism. The bar across the top is Adam or Electro, and the shaft going down or the column going down is Eve. That's magnetism. So together, they what they create that cross. 
because it's electric 90 degree in opposition to magnetism so that's where the cross actually comes from now the celtic one's got a, another feature it's got the halo around the cross that's one of our halos of the angels yes which creates the electromagnetism so that's where the, the celtic snake. The snake is the movement of the electric in the ether. That's how it moves in the ether. It moves like a snake. Spidles. It's spy. It's spiral in it. That's what it's. That's how you move electric. It has to spiral. You have to spiral it. Yeah, coiling. Yeah, motion. You know, spiraling motion should generate electric. When you think about it. Yeah. That's, that's the angels do it that way. You know, Adam sending electrical pressure waves down to Eve she's sending electrical pressure waves up to Adam magnetic pressure waves this is how these two work together it's amazing you know the, the law of attraction is right there isn't it <laughs> it is indeed yeah I but, mean law of attraction in what way I mean that question about what is love I mean what force is that I mean you know that in itself but yeah what is what is um law of attraction it's it's electromagnetism yeah it's the equals and opposites uh, seeking each other out they're, they're physically attracted to one another that's right what is that driving i mean this is what i mean in our world we call it love but what you know which covers so much but what is driving that <coughs> to 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 find its attraction Attra you know, <laughs> That's a question. That's a question you'll have to ask the creator, because I can't answer that one. <laughs> that's beyond my. That's beyond me answering that. I have no idea how that came about, but that's what we see and know, isn't it? We we see that every day. Intelligent design. It is. Yeah, and I can't answer that. <laughs> There's a lot of things I can't answer with this technology, and that's one of the questions. You found another one I can't answer. <laughs> Normally I'll go up my way to try and find an answer, but some of them I know I can't. Oh, well, <laughs> you know, because you're honest and we like that. Um, do you imagine there's a complete ancestral understanding of the realm's workings in any tribal settings today? What we've got today is fragments of all the tribes' um, remnants. Uh, the biggest one, I, I think, is the Egyptian one. They've got so much information on those walls in glyphs. But they haven't got the complete picture either. Um, so it takes looking at those and at all the others, everyone else's. You know, you, a good friend of mine said that. He's a Muslim. Well, his family's Muslim. He doesn't follow it as much, but you know what I mean. His dad told him, you will not get all the answers from just the Quran. You have to look into everything. So this is a very wise man who knows what he's talking about because he's obviously come to the same conclusions himself. We haven't got all the answers, but they've got some, they've got some, they've got some over there. And it's it's right. You have to look around the world. Yeah, you're going to find the same technologies being spoken about of different names. But they've got answers to things we haven't got, and we've probably got information they haven't got. This is what we're supposed to do after these resets. We're supposed to re-educate each other again. We're supposed to share this. Pieces of the puzzle. Yeah, we're supposed to give them back to where they belong, not keep them to yourselves. Now, the last question, which isn't off the cuff, but, you know, I think it's quite important to you, is what would your prepping advice be for those in the know today? <laughs> My prep and advice would be to learn what nature can give you for free. Mm -hmm. As in food-wise, shelter if you need it. Go and study nature and learn it. It's And look at the, what the answers taught you about nature as well. They did give you, in fact they still do. There's tribes out there still passing on good information. Have a look into how they prepare for these resets especially. Because they, they know this knowledge and I'm pretty sure they keep it to themselves because, you know, they're in the same boat as us. Who do we speak to about this? We know what's going on, but who do we talk to? We can't trust anyone. So we'll just carry on prepping and do what we'd normally do as, as humans do. You know, clearly it's survivable because there's so many of us around today. It doesn't wipe us out. We're intelligent beings. We can, you know, rescue ourselves from situations. It's all the animals that need our help, really, if anything. Yes, um, and I just um, imagine like the Noah's Ark that they're storing two by twos everywhere so that, you know, 
mm. after a reset of any you know natural reset or whatever they'll um they've got all the cards you know and everybody's got the begging bowl out to them it it really yeah. is that stark when you think about it but prepping learn what you can especially not not just with foods but with nature's medicines because they're going to end up in short supply as well medicines so find out what medicines you know medicines nature can give you this is where all medicines come from anyway they come from nature and they get modified into some Frankenstein version that you have to pay money for yeah. uh, but nature will give you no, the, nature will give you the goodies for free so you'd have not using them We've all noticed them popping up, all the plants we need everywhere, anyone that's in uh, the know. That's, well, let's that's, that's just break down what's being affected here, and then you'll have an idea what to prep for. So we've got air that's being polluted, food that's mm -hmm. been contaminated, water that's contaminated, medications that have been modified. There's four things already that you can prep for. Yeah. And, of course, then the reset, so you want... A little bit of height would make some safety, you know. If there's going to be, it's going to be flooding and possibly tsunamis when things it, when things start resetting. Mm -hmm. Although previous pre tsunamis, like the two seventy two thousand and seventeen ones, um, they didn't rush back in. They slowly crept back in over the space of a couple of weeks, which is something new and unheard of before. So perhaps, so perhaps, you know, these star healers have been put in place to stop tsunamis, it seems to me. You know, whatever they've done, whatever the creator's done to stop this flooding, it seems to have worked in 2017. Which to me was, you know, this was a mechanism change going on and it caused tides to recede all over the place that were anywhere near these large star halos. You'll notice that in one of our old videos where the oceans shifted and they're all around these star halos. Where it shifted, so this was the star halos activating and doing something. And yeah, if, you think and that was a natural thing, not mm, man? There's no, there's well, no, oh, you mean a, a process of the realm? Yes, yeah, yes. Well, good question. You know, is it man messing around with this, or is it supposed to happen? Good question, because now we've got it recorded, and maybe that can be answered in the future. Because it's now on record, we have to look for that happening again, don't we? Previously, yes. it seems to be tsunamis followed that event, but not in 2017 they did. Uh, it didn't happen. It just come back slowly, which it's unprecedented. It's never been seen before. So, you know, there's, that's not normal. That's that's this technology doing something. Yes, off its own steam or not. Mm, you know, is man playing with that? I don't know. Very possible. That's the worry. You know, that, is a, that is a big worry of mine. What they're doing with this below. What are they doing below our feet? Yeah, that is a big concern. It yeah. should be concerning for everyone because that means no country safe, doesn't it? Yeah, no body safe. No, no, mm -hmm. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. So, thank you, FPV, for your honest approach to the questions and your revelationary answers. Um, I just want to say a quick thank you to Phil, Jax, Jason, Luca, Milo, Earth, VN007 and BJJ Den for contributing to the questions and uh, just want to say that uh, we're all looking forward to the next chapters for APM and for the rest of the world so Thank you, FPV. You're very welcome, people. It belongs to you, so I'm just giving you back. That's all we're here doing. We're giving you back what belongs to you, the people. In a wonderful way. Thank you. Really enjoyed it. Thanks. <laughs>